Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody left me a note on one of my videos to explain the feather effect. I've never used it, it's a, it's a blur. So I made three texts all the same. I'm gonna go up to effects, blur, and feather. I've got it set on linear, and I've got it set on just a little bit. You can actually go less or more, you can actually have it just go away. You know, I don't, I don't really, I'm not a printer, or, uh, I don't really see the advantage to this. But then we're gonna take, we're gonna say okay and on this one. So this is different than the Gussian blur, which is right below it. Now this time we're gonna go on a curve and maybe step it up a little bit. And it just gives it a little bit better effect. And then underneath the feather effect is the Gussian blur, which I don't know how that would be different, but you get you could get three different blur effects. I don't really know why they call it a feather effect, um, and what you would really do with it in a in a real situation. But we're going to go to effects, blur, and feather a curvature, and go a little further out, and it just makes it almost like it's not there. Let's see what the difference is. I'll hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a copy. Let's uh, let's take this one and go effects, blur, feather, and actually use the Gussian blur. And then on this one, let's just go to effects, blur, and Gussian. Now I guess maybe you've got more range and quite a bit of difference. Yes, there is a difference. Um, I, being a laser engraver, would probably never get to use this. And I don't even know about printing on how uh, that would be effective or, or what that would even look like. Let's see what it looks like with a background behind it. And see how far it goes. Yeah, it actually looks better. I mean, I guess if you were doing a t-shirt and you wanted something somewhat blurry. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.